Ecovigilance provides a lucrative career option to a wide range of professionals, not limited to pharmacists, science graduates, physicians, nurses or even engineers. We will learn about the various options in this field, as well as the career progression after entering this niche field. We will be talking about the career path for case processing personnel, medical writers, medical reviewers, quality personnel, and IT professionals. Besides, we will also discuss about the career options in medical information. We would like to start off with the case processing personnel. By far these form the major chunk of personnel working in the field of pharmacovigilance. This is suitable for graduates in pharmacy, science, medicine, nursing or even PharmD. This is one of the best career option for those who want to gain entry into this field or even for the freshers. One would generally start off as a junior drug safety associate performing data entry, peer review or even some literature search. Next level, is the senior drug safety associate, where one would be involved in data entry, quality review, peer review, literature review or even case submissions. Next level is the team leader, where one may manage a team of drug safety associates. This is the first step towards a managerial role. Next level is team manager, where one manages a group of team leaders. This is predominantly a managerial role, where one also needs to undertake productivity analysis, work estimation, or even resource allocation. The final level, is the service delivery manager, where one may manage multiple team managers, or even multiple projects. In the service industry, one may even progress to become a client partner. We would now talk about the medical writing personnel. By far these form the major chunk of personnel working remotely, or from home. This is suitable for graduates in pharmacy, science, medicine, nursing, or even PharmD. This is a good career option for those, who have a flair for writing, or have good analytical and communication skills. Again, freshers may be considered, although those having some pharmacovigilance experience will be preferred. One would generally start off as a junior medical writer, and contribute to case narratives, few sections of safety reports, literature review, or even line listings. Next level, is the senior medical writer, where one would be involved in most sections of safety reports, including aggregate reports, RMP, signal, clinical overview, etc. Next level is that of a team leader, where one may manage a team of medical writers, besides authoring safety reports, RMP, signal, clinical overview, etc. This is the first step towards a managerial role. Next level is that of a team manager, where one manages a group of team leaders. This is predominantly a managerial role, where one also needs to undertake productivity analysis, work estimation, or even resource allocation. The final level, is that of a delivery manager, where one may manage multiple team managers, or even multiple projects. In the service industry, one may even progress to become a client partner. We would now talk about the medical review professionals. Pharmacovigilance offers a lucrative career option for medical professionals. These include medical doctors, or even dentists, nursing professionals or PharmD with good clinical experience. The first level is that of a medical reviewer, where one gets the opportunity to review case safety reports, or even sign off the literature review documents. A medical reviewer is responsible for seriousness, labeledness and causality assessment, and needs to ensure that the safety narrative is complete. Next level is that of the senior medical reviewer, where one may get the opportunity to review aggregate safety reports. Next level is that of the medical review manager, which is necessarily a managerial role, where one manages the medical reviewers, 
and undertake review of signal reports, RMP and other safety reports. One may even become a therapeutic area expert. The next level is that of the medical safety lead, where one manages various medical managers across therapeutic areas. One may even be regarded as a medical expert or associate medical director. The final level is that of medical director, where one may manage multiple medical safety leads, besides the medical affairs activities. Some companies may even have the position of chief medical officer. The CMO is the ultimate position for medics. Pharmacovigilance quality is another lucrative career option, although not many personnel get an opportunity in this field. This field is suitable for graduates in pharmacy, science, nursing, farm D, or even medicine. Freshers, or beginners generally start off as a quality officer, where they manage documentation pertaining to QMS, and coordinate for timely completion of activities. Next level is that of the quality associate, where one is involved in QMS management, undertake SOP review, prepare audit plans, risk assessment, or even assist during audits. Next level is that of the manager pharmacovigilance quality assurance, where may conduct internal or external audits, sign off SOPs, audit plans and risk assessment. These are QMS experts, with experience in validation, and providing CSV support. The next level is that of the senior manager or head of pharmacovigilance quality assurance. These are generally independent auditors, who manage the global PHVQA team, ensure validation of pharmacovigilance systems, and for ensuring continuous audit readiness. The final level is that of the head of corporate quality. However, it is likely that these personnel would continue career as an independent consultant, which is a rewarding career option. In the past, pharmacovigilance IT was regarded as a part-time activity. In recent times, with auditors focus on efficient and properly validated IT systems, coupled with consolidation activities in the pharma space, PHVIT has emerged as a separate field. There are no limitations with regards to educational requirements, and any graduate with IT expertise can get into this field. Generally, one starts off as a system analyst, where they take care of the IT systems, the documentation, and may be involved in SQLs. The next step is the systems expert, where one gains expertise in systems console, electronic gateway support, and may be involved in CSV. The next step is the IT lead, where one would manage a small team of IT personnel, have CSV expertise and may be involved in data migration or systems upgrade. This is the first step towards a managerial role. Next step is the PHVIT manager, where one would manage IT leads, be accountable for CSV documentation, systems compliance, backup and restoration, and may even be a cloud expert. The final step is head of PHVIT. These personnel handle IT managers, audit IT systems, and lead integration and divestment projects. The future is all about artificial intelligence, robotics and machine learning. The IT professionals, the data engineers, and the data scientists will play a major role in transforming the pharmacovigilance IT space. Based on the suggestions from the viewers, we have decided to add one more slide on medical information. This field is suitable for graduates in pharmacy, science, medicine, nursing or even PharmD. Medical information provides a good opportunity for the freshers who are trying to gain an entry into the pharmaceutical industry. One would start off as a medical information officer. The role of a medical information officer is primarily to take calls and ensure proper documentation. 
The next level is that of a team lead or the medical information executive. The role of a medical information executive is to train and mentor the medical information officers. The next level is that of a team manager. The role of a team manager is to manage a group of medical information officers and executives. The next level is that of a project manager. This person may manage one or multiple projects, or even serve as a partner for a specific client. To summarize, we learnt about the career options for case processes, medical writers, medical reviewers, quality as well as IT personnel. We also looked at medical information as a career. Although the career progression may vary from organization to organization, it may be more to do with the nomenclature rather than the role itself. We trust you found this useful. Feel free to contact us in case you have any questions, comments, or even suggestions. We also request you to subscribe to our channels.